The Women's Resource Center started off as a rape crisis center, but because of the need has evolved into so much more. So much so, in fact, it now goes by the, in, by the initials WRC to highlight serving both men and women. The organization serves about 1,700 families a year, but gets three times as many calls. And the goal every time to get people back on their feet. What's your name? Meet Elias. Can I get a five? He's only one year old, and his mom, Zaria, admits it's been hard finding reasons to celebrate. I chose the wrong person, wrong, wrong path. And that's how they ended up here at the Women's Resource Center, or WRC, shelter. And so we keep food in here. Most of it's donated. And we always have, like, diapers over here. We have diapers and like baby milk. Run by government grant and community donations, WRC has 21 furnished apartments for families, playrooms for kids and teenagers, an art room, gift room for birthdays and Christmas. We had uh, 125 families and 375 kids sign up. Counseling centers, laundry services, outdoor space, and most importantly, it has trauma-informed care and compassion. We don't need a police report. They come in and say, you know, I'm a victim of domestic violence and I, I need help. We're in the counseling room at the WRC where families from all walks of life come in. And while the staff says this is where the healing begins for the families, they are the true superheroes. Yeah, they really are because once they once they leave, come to the shelter, and then if they come to transitional housing, it's uh, they've been through a lot by the time they get here. And it's a, it's a scary thing to leave, and it's a scary thing to start a new life, start something new. And, and while Zaria showed a lot of bravery to move in six months ago. It takes a lot for me to speak up. She showed just as much bravery moving out. That's right, out. On the day that we met her, she was transitioning out of the shelter, 18 months before the two-year maximum allowed stay. So how do you feel? Um, more scared than anything, but excited. If they don't get there, we, we kind of blame ourselves for that. We think, what did we do wrong for them? What didn't we do that we could have done? For me, really, this is why we do what we do. The WRC also has programs for domestic violence prevention and for perpetrators. Breaking that cycle so that it does not become this intergenerational problem is a really important um, aspect of what we do. And for those watching who need a place to go right now, don't worry, a space just opened up. Definitely do it. It's worth it. They um they help to the best of their abilities. It might not be the help that you want, but it's the help that you need. And because of their long-standing and consistent work to get people back on their feet, ABC 10 News and Lead San Diego chose WRC as our 10 News Leadership Award winner for the month of January. To, to nominate someone for our 10 News Leadership Award, go to our website, 10news.com, and click on Community.